Hello. Um, so today I've got a version of chess called 1D Chess, um, which I read about in an article by Martin Gartner. And um, the idea is we're just playing on one strip here. So there are two players, and each of them has a king, uh, a knight, and a rook. Uh, they're not allowed to go off this one-dimensional line, um, so there's only eight spaces in the whole board. Uh, rooks move exactly how you would expect a rook to move. So um, Knights jump two spaces, like that, so that they can jump over the piece in between. And kings uh, move exactly as they do in normal chess as well, so one space forwards or backwards. And um, as with normal chess, white goes first. And when we're looking at this sort of game, um, because it's much more simplified, we can actually solve it. And um, white does have one way of winning the game. It, it has a forced win. But most of uh, what you're trying when you get there will be uh, ending in a draw instead. Okay. Um, and there aren't actually that many moves to start off with. There are only four different moves that you can play. One of them ends the game straight away. So if we play rook takes rook, um, now black doesn't have any moves. Uh, black isn't in check, uh, but they've been stalemated. Um, so that would end in a draw. So whatever we whatever we do, we know we can at least get a draw. Um, so so the, we're trying to hunt for a win as a, an upgrade of that. Um, let's look at some of the other moves. So we could have a rook going, say, here, um, but black can immediately draw the game by taking the rook. Um, oh, sorry, they, they can win the game by taking the rook, because now white only has this move here, and when black takes, um, they've got checkmate. So, that's a losing move, we don't want to play the rook there. So that was if I play rook there, the only other place that the rook can go is this one here. Well. If they take, um, then white has to take back. Black only has one move, and this is looking drawn. Um, we can just shuffle pieces backwards and forwards, and it, it's going to be a draw from here. Um, so, the only first move that we haven't investigated is knight out. And now we have a, a couple of different things that can happen. Um, we have three moves. We have knight out, we have rook forwards, or we have rook takes. Let's just look at um, what happens in each of these cases. If we have rook takes, then white has a win by da, 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 checkmate. So black won't do that. Let's just go back to where we were. So we played this. We've established that black can't take this. So let's have a look at this one. If that rook goes there, then we've got a few moves here as white, but only one of them wins. And the move is this. King here. It, it's a, a waiting move. Now black has two options. It can take, in which case we take back, and then, um, as before, white can win. Um, or we can move back. But then white has an instant win of a smothered mate. Checkmate. So, that one doesn't work either. Uh, the only other thing to do, and this is the, the best defence for black, it's the one which lasts the longest, is knight here. Now this position is quite complicated. Um, we are going to take the, uh, the rook, which we get with a check, in which case black only has one move, king forwards. Now, we have to analyse this position. Black is threatening to take our rook with a check, so if we don't move the rook um, straight away, we're going to lose it, and that's the piece that we want to be able to do the checkmate. So, if we play rook here, uh, now black has a choice. Um, he can either take the knight with the king, or he can hop over. By taking the knight, it actually ends the game sooner, because if the king takes like that, we can just hover backwards like this, and now the king either retreats here, in which case we take the knight, or the knight goes forwards, in which case we take a knight, either way we get checkmate in one. So that does, yeah, that's it, that's the position. So we've analysed if king takes uh, the knight, that loses for black. Um, the only other move we have is this here, check. 
Now, if we take with the rook, it's stalemate, because the king won't be able to take the knight, it's guarded by the rook, but it also can't go here, so it wouldn't have a move. So, black can't afford to do that. Oh, sorry, so we can't afford, white can't afford to take take it, it'll be a stalemate. So instead, we're going to have to just move our king out of check. Black now has to delay as long as possible. If the knight comes over here, then we can play knight here, checkmate. But the only other move is knight here. And this one delays for as long as possible. Now we've got knight here. And black, if he takes the knight, then we're going to take like this, check. But actually that's the only move. So if king takes the knight here, we've got checkmate here. And that's the longest um, black can survive. So white managed to uh, checkmate in six moves.